So I like going through the community labs worlds and stuff to see what's in there. And coincidentally, this one world popped up and I'm like, hey, that looks really familiar. I heard somebody talking about something in this project and they wanted to work on it. And guess what it is? <laughs> yes, Raccoon Tur. He talked to me about this project. He said, I'm going to make this Commodore 64 desk and you can wander all around it and I guess he finished it because here it is oh my god this is nuts because like th this technically was my first computer um, and I bought it at a garage sale I think like in the early 90s and it didn't come with any paperwork it just came with these floppy disks and I had to like figure out how to get this thing to work on my own I had no idea how to work anything. I was like, this is a computer, I guess. I don't know. And it just came with these discs that I had no idea what anything was on these, if there were games or what. But like, even this one, if you look closely right here, it has whoop, like the load EA like dot eight one. This is how I learned how to use the Commodore 64 since I didn't have an owner's manual. And this is like, before the internet and stuff so like there was no way to know any of this stuff so I learned how to use Commodore 64 based on the labels of the floppy disks that came with it so on some of these you can do load star 81 and then that would just go to like the first program and run it so like that's how I got some of these games to work but um, oh my god I have this one I actually have the GI Joe and it looks exactly like this Oh my god. Yeah, so like this one doesn't say like load star.81 or anything. So, you know, I pop this in and just type that command and I think this one works like that. But, oh man, California Games. I don't think I had that. I don't know. But, wow. Racing Destruction Set. I never, never played that one either. Summer Games 2. I had this. Whoa. Oh, this is nuts. Wow. Okay. I, I wanna I'll go back to these. I wanna I don't wanna make a mess. I'm gonna put these back. It's so cool you can pick up every single one of them. I'm really curious. Cause I think he said that you can play these? I I don't know. I wanna see if the G.I. Joe one works. I doubt it. I don't know. I have no idea. This is for something I never had. I don't know. Like yeah, that's the thing, like Commodore 64 was this huge, huge deal in the early 80s, and I mean, I was a little kid, you know, I, I didn't have a Commodore 64, so like, this is a little bit before my time, so I didn't really get in to the whole spiel of uh, Commodore 64, I kind of, I, you know, I picked one up after the, you know, the aftermath of it being this huge thing. <gasps> there it is! Look at that! Yep. Yeah, this is all, you know, it just gives you this blue screen of, what? What do you do with this? This is, oh, look at that. He left a, a calling card. Help me make more worlds. Patreon. Ah, that's a good idea. That's really fancy. Yeah, his stuff is is amazing. Like, his avatar work and, and with the modeling and everything. Oh, look, you can even pick up, oh, it's a giant Sharpie. It looks like a Sharpie. Eh. Oh. You remember these things? I don't know if, like, I haven't seen one of these. It's gotta be like 20 years. Like the, like the, the four color thick pen. And I remember like you'd have these in school and the teacher would yell at you to stop playing with the pen because you'd be sitting there like click, 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 click. And they were like, stop it, just write. So, can we load a game? G.I. Joe, can we, can we just stick this in the, We'll see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I just, I just put it on top. Oh, that kind of works. <laughs> Look at that. And it was crazy because there was two discs. And if you'd be like, oh, you want to do this mission? And yeah, it would play this animation while it's loading the game. And it would go on forever. You could hear it. Oh. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. Man, I haven't seen this in years. That's amazing. 
discs though are crazy. There's Ghostbusters, Barbie. Oh, this is that really crazy one that looks like with really good animation. It's like a little karate guy, but like it's super fluid. Bard's Tale. I've never, never played that one. Adventure Construction Set. Never played that. Never played that. Yes, Impossible Mission. I, I had this one too. Oh, and Zork. This is like something significant. I, I don't remember exactly what. I think it's like the first, uh, like, whoa, well, I'm falling. <laughs> Zork is like, uh, what the heck is it? I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, if you Google it, it's something important. <laughs> I don't know. I, the, these games are kind of before my time. But there's even more discs down here below the desk. What's oh, in the garbage? Whoa. Whoa, jeez. It's very buggy and garbage. Ugh. There's a game in the garbage. What is this? Leather Goddess of Phobos. All right, I'm gonna put this in. This is gonna be, there's gotta be a reason why this is in the garbage. There we go. Oh, it's loading. Is it a naughty game? Oh, uh, genius. Genius! Wow. That is the icing on the cake. 